Hi everybody, Rob, John Miller, Guard Machinery. Hopefully by now you've been watching lots of our videos and sending comments in. We will get around to getting back to you at some point. So, today we're looking at the Ego battery pressure washer. It's the uh, HPW 2000E. So uh, I think Ego released this back end of last year um, in the States. I think it came over mid part of um, this season. So. It does what it says on the tin. It's a pressure washer that you can use your Ego batteries with. And they will take, if you buy the kit, it comes with the seven and a half amp hour batteries. All right. So we're going to give it, we're going to give it a test. Max has um, bought one of the decks out from the service department. And we're going to, we've sprayed it with some cleaner. We're going to blast it off. Um, before we do that though, let me just put that back in there. These batteries are about half baked, <laughs> charged. Um, so if it runs out quite quickly, just give us some leeway. Uh, so what you get with the kit, you get, to be fair, first impression, this is the first time I've seen it by the way, so it's kind of off the cuff kind of video. Um, yeah, nice robust lance, trigger seems pretty decent, go steady, spurts out the end. Um, now you get lots of different uh, nozzle attachments. You get five by the look of it, without reading the instruction book, which I haven't done yet, which maybe I should have done, is different power, all right? Now, they've got a turbo nozzle, and listening to it, it's gonna be the same as a, uh, a, a plug-in pressure washer. Don't use that one on your car, all right? This is gonna be for patios, real heavy duty stuff you need to get rid of. It's got the turbo fan inside that basically makes a cylindrical effect out of the pressure washer. So. Heavy duty stain removal, really good. Not so good on car paint work. All right, guys. Um, what else do you get? Fairly robust hose. It's about eight meters-ish. It looks pretty tough. So it's not reinforced by the look of it. So go steady if you're dragging it all over the floor. Uh, what else do you get? Tell you what is a nice feature I've only picked up on. Nice brass kind of fittings there. I don't know if Nat wants to come in or I'll meet halfway. So when you're connecting the ends on. And down on here, you've got a um, nice brass fitting for where the hose goes into. So that's gonna be a robust feature of the machine. Right, runtime, who knows? Uh, we're gonna try it. I don't think there's any figures anywhere from Ego. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I haven't seen any. So what it's giving you, as you can see here, is maximum 135 bar, 6.5 liters a minute of through water. I think that equates to around about 390 litres an hour, roughly, give or take my maths. So pressure washing, a lot of it is down to not necessarily what you get at the end, it's what you can put through the machine, what the machine can take. If you can't get the water in, you ain't never gonna get the water back out again sensibly, okay? So when you're looking to buy a pressure washer, might not be this one, just try and get that as much water input that the machine can take to get out the decent pressure. So, um, so we're going to give it a try on this deck. Max has sprayed some cleaner on it about five minutes ago. Uh, it's got turbo setting, so we're going to try all the settings and then we'll check back in a second to see how good it is or how good it isn't. Uh, one more thing before I forget, it has got an option to, um, so this is connected to the mains, obviously tap hose pipe in. It has got an option to have a pickup out of um, like a container. So if you're out and about and you haven't got mains water, as long as you've got a big enough reservoir holder, you can put a uh, tube in and it'll suck it up into the machine. Okay, right. Let's go and tap the deck and see what happens.
I think that's done quite a good job, if you ask me. Um, admittedly, we've put cleaner on it. It's quite heavy industrial cleaner for the workshop side of things, but it shifted the worst of it. Let's not get carried away. It's not going to perform as well as the big diesel beast over there, but it's not intended to, you know. That does heat, that does everything. For a home use battery pressure washer, um, or if you're like a mobile valator or something, you know, just needs a quick clean of heavy duty off the car, you know, I don't think you go too far wrong with that, to be fair. Um, I'm just going to quickly put the turbo nozzle on just to see as much difference. So that's the top, that was the high powered, like normal fan nozzle. We're going to change the nozzle over to turbo. So pull that down, plug that in, nice and simple. All right. So this is the turbo nozzle. This is the one not to use on the car. So let's see what happens. Might make the deck dirty again, but. more power that as you can see a bit of the paint flicked off the uh, off the off the deck there so like i said it's a mower deck they get abused and bashed but you wouldn't want that on your car would you so um yeah patios and stuff just watch your pointing if you're using it on a patio uh yeah so that's pretty impressive the other four nozzles as you go through the range they're going to give different pressure output so that's pretty impressive as well on the whole the first time I've seen a battery, um, I'm just going to get myself uncaught from the damn thingy. Um, first time I've seen a battery pressure washer. To be fair, I think it might be the first one out there that I know of. Um, good machine. Ego, top notch again. Um, what was I going to say? Batteries, I think Steve used it at home. He had two seven and a half amp hour batteries cleaning the patio. I think he chewed through it in about 20 minutes. So you're going to need a couple of batteries if you're going to keep a bit of longevity or constant runtime. But like I said, on the whole, I'm not going to go 10 out of 10 because you've got to go petrol or for a dip, but we're going to go like 9 out of 10 for a good quality battery pressure washer from Ego. All right, as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.